What is going on YouTube? Hayden back with another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the crypto market as well as going over a viewer's comment as to which altcoin that is, we will find out. So if we click on Litecoin, you will see that we have definitely declined in the past day. That is on the hourly though. I'd like to show you a better look on the four hour and what exactly is happening. So when I go on the four hour chart, the one thing you'll notice is that we did see some consolidation within the 245 and the 240 or the 239, yeah, 240 dollar range, which was interesting and well planned from my last video, if you guys remember. Now, what I wasn't expecting was to see this quick decline, but you know what? I do think that is okay. And it's, it actually makes sense as to why we did decline. Now, we can't just keep going on this upward trend. At some point, we do have to come back down and kind of get back to our normal trend pattern. We can't just go like straight up. That would be like catastrophic. So what you do see and what you can notice is if I zoom out and make the chart a little bit easier for you guys to see from a whole you'll notice this big dark black line that I drew on the screen and it dates all the way back to I want to say the start was around let's see uh, February 6 and it is the 21st right now and if you'll notice this trend line goes up on the first touch the second touch is right here right where the middle moving average is. So that's something to notice too, is as soon as we challenged this middle moving average right here, we exploded with this uptrend and support line. So that is very interesting to notice is that this is the pop that we had from finally retesting the middle moving average. Now, if I move the chart up further, you'll notice we've seemed to have finally found support around the $206 line and the reason being is we have finally retested our support line. We finally came back down to re-hit our support line. And then we hopefully will be able to either consolidate and follow the line up or pop up. Now the issue is the blue line that I drew is at around $212. And that is the line of resistance. And it was a big support line, as you can see, for Litecoin. But because we fell... It is going to currently act as a line of support, I mean a line of resistance. Now you do notice that the middle moving average is increasing though, which is nice to see that we're finally moving up and you'll notice that the green band has crossed over the red band and there is a very big gap, which is an indication that we are going to experience an uptrend. Uh, what I also drew was a small thin black line as another support line. This dates back to the second and you'll notice it runs all the way through. So what I've noticed is one of two things is going to happen. Either Litecoin is going to stay strong and bounce off this support line and hopefully break through the 212 range and then retest or we're going to fall farther, retest the minimum moving average and use the 193, this lower line, this lower black line as a line of support. So one of two things are going to happen, but we will see. Now, it isn't just Litecoin that's taking a hit. It's the market as a whole. As to, as to why that's happening, I'm not sure. But if I go into the cryptocurrency market cap and I refresh the page, you'll notice that what the $500 billion that we had in crypto is currently $450 billion. So $50 billion has left and turned into cash and taken out of cryptocurrency. So not nothing to worry about. It's not that coin in specific. It's not Litecoin in specific that is falling. It's the entire market as you can see right here. So th there's some coins that made it out, but otherwise it's pretty much a sea of red. So I don't think there's anything to worry about. And at the path Litecoin was going, it, it needed to come back down and just find some support after this run. But we did build a lot of consolidation, which will hopefully help Litecoin in the long term, that it's going to look at this as an area of support when we finally break above. 
But what I do notice is this is a very steep uptrend, and literally by the end of February, we should be almost at around 260, almost at around 288 by the end of February. So definitely February, the end of February into March, we will hopefully see some positive movement in Litecoin. As for Bitcoin, you'll notice that the uptrend that we were running on has finally declined. And what like what Bitcoin seems to be doing is it's looking for the two, let's see, sorry, the the $10,140 line as a line of support, as well as retesting the middle moving average on the four hour chart. So I can definitely see a nice pop off of this area right here. So if you did want to buy and swing trade, I would definitely buy around this area, just a little bit lower. And then we should hopefully see a pop up off of Bitcoin. But definitely a nice uptrend we have, and I do think we're going to continue that uptrend. It's nice to see that the middle moving average is going up instead of down. Same thing for Litecoin. As for Ethereum, kind of doing its own thing right now. Could not break this um, downtrend that it started, that it kind of made for itself. And as you can see from the last video, we had this uptrend that I drew. And as you'll notice, we piled up into the corner of the symmetrical triangle and we could not break the resistance and we fell. So it's interesting that all of these things kind of tie in at the same time. Yes, the whole market tank, well, not tanks, but de declines right now. And at the same time, it breaks through this end. So it's kind of like a timed or pre-planned move. If you would... If you read charts, you'd expect some type of thing to happen, either pop upwards and we can see a, a bunch of greens on the chart or a pop downwards and we see a bunch of reds. And as you can see, we pop downwards and that's basically what happened. And it's interesting because you would know that following this up, you could pretty much draw the line right around here. And you'll know by this downtrend that we would have planned a movement that something was going to happen, either a pop downwards that is at an increasing rate or pop upwards that's at an increasing rate, like to see a 10 or 15% increase or a 10 or 15% decrease. And that's pretty much what is happening right now. So it's something you can plan in advance. Uh, so let's move on to the lucky commenter that we will review their coin today. I'm just going to open up the window to review on trading view, open it up. And the person who I will review will be, let's see if I can find the coin first before I say, but Hector Santos asked me to review AMB. So we will see if that is available on TradingView, if this loads, hopefully soon. But we'll look at it at on the market cap. So Ambrosis AMB, we will see if that's on here. Otherwise, I'm just going to look it up on another chart. A and B. Let's see. A and B, USD. So we do have Ambrosos calculated by the US dollar by TradingView. And it is an invalid symbol. So again, I seem to have issues with certain coins not being found on the charts. But I guess I will just review it on... The crypto market cap and then I guess I'll pick another coin to review as well definitely slows down when I record but let's try another coin the other person let's see we can choose mark Bullivant chose to add a coin so ADA to BTC on Bittrex cool so we're going to review Mark Bullivant's Adacoin. Now let's just scroll out a little bit. We are on the four hour, so we should have a good view as to what to expect. I'll just view it on the hour, I mean on the daily to get a better view. Okay, cool. So definitely something to notice on Adacoin is this downtrend. So we'll definitely just draw on this downtrend right here with a trend line, huge downtrend. So basically what Adacoin is doing is it's looking for an area of support. Now, obviously 
it has not found any up here due to this huge spike it had back in January 5th, but it is looking for support right now, and I do see some signs of support lines. Let's start at the top. We'll draw one right here. That is a support line. We'll draw another one right here. This is another support line, and I believe there's another one right here. So I do see three support lines for Adacoin. So if you were to purchase Adacoin or you want to purchase more, I would recommend waiting for us to continue this downtrend we have not yet reached. I'm going to move on to the four hour. Maybe we will see a middle moving average. Yes, and as you can see, the red band is way, way, way above the green band, which is a signal that we are going to experience some type of downtrend. So what I would recommend is to wait this out, maybe at around March 4th in that area, maybe that week, we will see this coin finally retest its line of support here. And we will see if we can see it pop up out of this downtrend that it, it's having. I would definitely recommend buying into Adacoin because there is a ver there's very much potential that it does have. So definitely wait to see if it can pop out of here. Otherwise, it will fall, and then this will be a good buying range somewhere in between these two black lines. So it's pretty much a waiting game. And other than that, I hope you guys notice that I do have a green screen and I should be getting better lighting in hopefully tomorrow if not the next day and make sure to please leave a comment below on the next coin you'd like me to review the next altcoin if you have any questions leave it in the comments uh, and please like comment and subscribe peace